Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Techno Talks here. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out two products from Magback. They actually went ahead and sent these over to me, so I will be having links down below in the description if you do want to check these out after the video's over. So in front of us today, we have an iPhone 13 Pro case, and we also have a Magback wallet, which is made of Napa leather. So let's go ahead and start unboxing these two things. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the case. So really nice packaging overall. Feels quality, looks really nice. In the back, we get a description of something. So mount to any metal surface, mount anywhere else with mag, bat, mag stick. 22 embedded magnets, 360 protection, six feet drop test, soft touch grip, supports wireless charging, quick mount with auto alignment, minimalist design, low pro profile mag stick. All right, so we get some information right there. And then in front of us, we can see the case, what it looks like, plus a description of what it's for. And then it is MagSafe compatible. Uh, again, you could probably tell from the name as it's called Magback. And we also get two mag sticks. I'm not sure what those are, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out. So to open it up, all you gotta do is just pull from that little latch, and that is it. So here we have our case. Right away, this case looks really nice and feels really quality. Um, it is made of silicon or silicone, however you guys like to say it, and it does feel really premium. Also inside we get Two alcohol pads, I guess that's just to wipe your phone before putting it in the case. And then we also get protect your phone, mount it anywhere. So mag stick instructions. Again, we get these mag stick things. Again, I'm not sure what they are. We do get two of them right here and here. Oops. And let's actually go ahead and check what these out, what these are. So uh, mag stick instructions, clean surface, uh, orient mag sticks, peel off, uh, wait five minutes. And I guess that is just a thing to mount your phone. So you basically just put it somewhere and you're able to mount your phone with this. So I guess it just sticks on to some part of your phone. Again, as you can see, it sticks onto the sides right here and it is really strong. So you're able to stick it on to the bottom, the top and right there. So you basically can mount this somewhere and if you leave your phone there, then you go out and set these up however you'd like and then you're able to use it, use uh, place your phone on there and not have to hold it without doing anything. So that is really nice that we get something extra with it and it's not just some random MagSafe uh, case. So let's go ahead and plop these in. <clears throat> All right, if I can manage to plop this back in, put that right there. And here I have my iPhone 13 Pro, it's in, uh, the blue color. And in the back it says MagSafe compatible, uh, MagBack, we get their nice little design. And let's go ahead and just plop this in. So really easy to plop in. Boom, that is all you gotta do. We get really nice protection all around. Let me go ahead and wipe the screen of the phone. And here is our case on my iPhone 13 Pro. So very minimal design. Uh, they have their own MagBack design right there. Plus it says MagBack on the bottom, which is really nice. I would have preferred it if it was just all clear. We didn't have that MagBack right there and it just had the logo, but I guess this is what they went for. We get nice protection and a really nice premium feel to it. So again, uh, we get a nice little lip around the display. As you can see, it is very large. I don't have a screen protector on it. And even with the screen protector, you'd probably get really decent uh, raisivity, I guess. Our cutouts for our front speaker, as you can see, it is right there. So you won't have any audio issues. And then our cutouts for the bottom speaker plus our lightning port, no issues over there. And then we also have our volume rocker on this side and our power button on this side. Plus, let's go ahead and check out our mute switch. Seems really easy to access. So some cases they are a little thicker and it's hard to access the mute switch, but with this, it seems perfectly fine. So now let's move on to the button test real quick. And the button test, basically I just click the buttons and check if it's really hard to press. Uh, that depends on every case and I usually prefer it when you don't have to press it too much harder. So really click, uh, no clicks, you don't get the clicky sound, but really easy to click. Maybe a little harder to, than some other cases I've used. Uh, Speakins cases, they're usually really good at that. The buttons are really soft and really easy to click. This, you kind of have to apply some extra force to it, but it is overall pretty fine if you don't get bothered by that. Now onto our camera lens, uh, we don't really get too much protection. Uh, it does have a lip around it. It is a little higher than the camera lens, but maybe not as high as some other cases I've seen, but overall it will still protect your phone if you do drop it on its back. So let's go ahead and actually test out the MagSafe real quick. 
Again, it says it has MagSafe, so here's my MagSafe puck. Plop it on, and we do get MagSafe. And just a little test, just to see how strong the magnets are. Seems like they work perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and plop that to the side, and now let's move on to our MagSafe wallet. So here is the Mag Back wallet. Again, similar packaging, just with a different design, and it's a little smaller. Elegant and multifunctional wallet. On the back, we get some information compatible with MagBag cases, MagStash, and MagSafe. So I guess that's some other uh, items that they have. The MagStash, I don't know what that is. But let's go ahead and open this up. Similar unboxing. You just got to pull that tab. And we take our wallet out. And then we also get some information right here. So finger loop adjustment. Remove stitches as needed to fit for your finger. Remove all stitches to remove finger loop completely. Insert finger up to this point. Please note. All right, so right here, uh, we do have stitching and you are able to remove it to fit your finger if you do want to open it up a little more. Seems like it's fine for me. I can fit one finger in perfectly, so probably won't be needing to open that stitching, but for the people that do, you just gotta open it. I wish they had implemented a different way of doing that so you could actually close it back up if needed, but I guess it is fine. So let's go ahead and check this wallet out. So. Uh, we have a nice little wallet, as you can see, uh, opens up from this side. You can fit a couple cards in here, probably can fit like two cards max. And then you also slide them out like this from this side. So very similar to what Apple has. Personally, I don't really like that design choice, uh, what Apple did, but it, the wallet does look really good and the Napa leather does look really stylish on this. However, again, design choice of taking the cards out by doing this, I don't really prefer sometimes, it's a little harder to, let's say your hands are a little sweaty and it's really hard to take out, but overall it's usually fine for me. I don't usually have too many issues, but again, uh, another choice would have been better. You can also push down, uh, actually no, uh, you can't push down from this side, I thought you could actually access the, uh, the card from this side, however you can't, it's a separate place completely. So overall, pretty decent wallet case. So let's go ahead and actually try out the MagSafe on this so i'm gonna go ahead and plop it on and boom seems like it's really strong on there i'm gonna go ahead and slide my finger in and just do a quick shake test and as you can see seems like we're having zero issues with that so really nice uh, wallet case overall looks really nice and looks really professional which is something i like with these wallet cases for magsafe i don't usually use wallet cases with magsafe I don't really trust them, but this seems like it is a pretty strong fit. However, I probably wouldn't use it again as it's not my style. I usually just keep everything in my wallet and not being able to keep more than like three cards in something uh, that I carry next to me is not really convenient for me. But for the people that do, it is a pretty good uh, wallet case, Mag MagSafe wallet case overall. So that's basically going to wrap it up. So. Again, I'd like to thank MagBag for sending these over. And if you guys do want to check these products out, there will be a link down below for each one of them. So here is a final look at what it looks like, as you can see. And that will basically wrap it up for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And see you all in the next one.